Thursday. <sighs> I'd literally just walked in the building. Um, it, my hair, every time I wear that toboggan, it like makes my hair flat. Um, it's 7.15, that's the first bell. And it is super cold outside this morning. I think the wind chill is like minus four. And all the other counties around us are on a two hour delay or closed, except us as usual. I took a clip of the road on the way here, some of the road, I don't know if you could see it, but there was snow blowing around on the road and I was hoping that my camera would pick it up. I didn't go to Dunkin' Donuts this morning. I went ahead and just made coffee from home and I pretty much drank the whole thing on the way here. I don't know if I told you guys yesterday, but I checked out these laptops right here. Oh, my battery's dying. I need to charge my battery. I like the way this camera at least gives me a warning that my battery's about to die. My other camera just shut off. I'm gonna charge my battery and I'll check back in with you guys later. So let, let's not tell anyone, said Annie. Ja Dad won't believe it. I would say it was a read. Wait, can we not read that book? It's too long. Mom won't believe it. It was that looks so good. Have you done this before? Mm. All right, so we're going to switch use switch profile. And we're gonna find your name. And then you're going to, if you wanna search a certain topic, you can type in something you wanna read about or there's some um, examples or if you want to just browse through, you can do that. Y'all, this day, I don't even know how to describe this day. It's been very productive, but it's been very exhausting. It is 3.30 and I haven't filmed since, I guess it was right after lunch, but um, we had an early lunch today because we had some snow. It actually snowed enough to stick on the ground and we thought they were gonna close school, so they went ahead and did an early release lunch schedule which put us at lunch 30 minutes earlier. So we did that, which was 10.15, which is basically brunch. And then we had in the room for lunch today. And then while they were eating, I went over the website Epic with them because this morning, as you saw in a previous clip, I had some laptops checked out for my kids so that they could do Epic during their read to self rotation. It was so exhausting. They were all needing me. I was up and down. I was trying to do progress monitoring. They needed me. It was just like back and forth, a vicious cycle. So I went through the whole website. I showed them everything, how to pick out books, how to save them in their favorites, how to look at their achievements, all kinds of things. I was glad I had that chance to do that. And I told them tomorrow, I want them to be more independent because I am gonna have the laptops again tomorrow to read to self and I want them to be able to get a laptop, sit down, go to Epic, log in, and not need me at all. We'll see. After lunch today, I talked about saving and spending and what it means to save and what it means to spend. So on the smart board after lunch today, I made a T-chart and one side said spending, one side said saving, and then I would say like, we, could save money for, and then they had to fill in the blank with something that we could save money for, and then I could spend my money on, and then they had to fill in the blank, and I wrote it up on the T-chart. So a spending column and a saving column. And then I had them write down what spending means, what saving means, and something they could spend money on, and something they could save for. So we talked about spending and saving the whole time during our content time today. Then they had Jim and we had our PLC meeting, so I didn't get to vlog then. 
we just basically planned and talked about our in-class testing, which we're starting next week, so. It was kind of pointless to me anyways, but technically we're supposed to meet for our PLC, like a formal PLC on Thursdays, but. For math this afternoon, I started the math rotations that I showed you guys in my vlog from yesterday with the um, slides and they have the red and yellow and blue and green groups and then the baskets that I put back over there on the shelf. I went ahead and sorted all of the things that they needed in their basket. I think it was confusing to them because their lit block rotation groups are different from their math block rotation groups and they were just all confused. And also during that time, I had a group doing extra math. So I was able to get them into the computer to do extra math, which went pretty good for the most part. But goodness, today was so exhausting. So for an hour now, I have been making copies. I've been working on my newsletter. This is what my newsletter looks like. I bought a template from Teachers Pay Teachers. And um, I put on there you know, let's see, some upcoming events, the lunch menu, what we're doing, and then some other news down here at the bottom, but it's got snowflakes and a little kid here dressed up in winter clothes. So I thought it would be neat to have something new for the parents to look at. And the Teachers Pay Teachers pack that I bought is like newsletter, like editable newsletter templates, I think. And so there's all kinds of different ones for all different months, which is exciting because mine was really boring before. So right now I'm going to cut this gray paper in half because tomorrow they're going to be putting some rectangles in order for sequencing the story that we're reading. And so I want to go ahead and have the gray paper cut for them. I have my Scholastic Newses here that have not been sorted and separated, so I'm going to have to do that. Actually, I might leave that for my assistant to do whenever she does Friday folders in the morning. I need to check over my spending and saving plans for tomorrow, wherever they are. Okay, so I need to go through here and find out what we're gonna do for economics tomorrow. I need to look at my math plans. I'm probably not gonna do groups again tomorrow unless, oh no, I'm gonna have a sub, not a sub. I'm gonna have an assistant in my room tomorrow to cover my class from 12.30 to two o'clock because we have a meeting, like a some kind of Title one meeting, I'm not really sure what it is, honestly. But I'm gonna have somebody in my room from 12.30 to two, so I need to work on plans for that. Get my morning routine board ready for tomorrow, change my lunch choices, lay out morning work, and then I'll catch back up with you guys when I get ready to leave. Oh, by the way, we were supposed to have a staff meeting today and it got postponed to next week because of the weather. And all the snow that was on the ground today melted but I don't know if you can tell, it's flurrying. I think the high today was, it's coming down. It looks like, you can't really tell on here, but I can see it. Today's high was like 22 degrees. We haven't been outside for recess all week and we're probably not going outside tomorrow either because I think the high is like 25. Um, we had inside recess today, and look at my nose. It's like red because I'm hot. But I'm not really hot. Like, my body's hot, but my arms are not. And my nose turns red when I get hot. So, anyways, I don't know why. I went ahead and made some copies of some winter stuff for next week. Since we're starting our um, in-class testing, I want to get my kids some stuff to do that's gonna keep them in their seats. So I found this, actually a um, team teacher, one of my teachers on my team gave me this, but it's wintertime sentences. So they have to choose 10 of the words from the box and write them in a sentence, and then they have to check to make sure they have capital letters, periods, and their spelling is correct. And then they have to underline the word in a sentence 
choose your favorite sentence and make an illustration. So that's one thing. This is just a really quick activity, a wintertime word search. I really like this one. This is ABC order. So they have the ABCs there. They have to write these snow themed words in ABC order over here. And then they have to choose their favorite words to write five sentences and illustrate their favorite one. This is really good because my kids, they've done ABC order a few times, but this is gonna be really good practice for them. This one is to unscramble the words. So they have to unscramble and use the word box to help and write the words on the line. And then how many words can you make from the word snowman? So they have the word snowman down here. They have to make two letter, three letter, four letter, and five letter or more words. I also copied a January calendar from Scholastic News. This is what they're doing tomorrow morning for morning work. And this is some other winter stuff that I'm not using. I'm sending home a book order, so I went ahead and typed up a form for that for the parents. And I'm gonna staple those together and put them in their Friday folders. Actually, I might wait and send them home on Monday. And then I went ahead and made copies for our Happy New Year Scholastic News and Predator on the Ice Scholastic News. Usually the first week of our M-Class testing, we give our kids lots of things to keep them busy so that we can get as much testing done as we possibly can. So that is what all of that is for. And that'll be during our lip block rotations, either lip block rotations or whole group during our literacy block next week, if that made any sense at all. I went ahead and put their calendars out for the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and staple those book order papers that I just showed you to the actual book order so I can have those ready to send home. I haven't done my morning routine board yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. I have about 25 minutes till I have to leave, so I will catch back up with you guys then. Well, I'm all finished, and I went ahead and got my coat on and everything packed up before I finished the vlog, but I feel pretty good. My room's clean, everything's ready for tomorrow. I even have some stuff ready for next week. So I'm about to head out. I'm going to pick Paisley up. She went home with a friend after school today. So I'm going to go pick her up and then we're going to head home. So thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click on the thumbs up button down below if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you are new. Tomorrow is Friday and I'm super excited for that. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.